We are gathered here today to both mourn and celebrate the life of our beloved father, Frankie Mazzelli, an upstanding member of the Catholic clergy. A father Frankie was in a class of his own, both as a real estate agent and a fully licensed exorcist. He specialized in selling haunted manors. But first, he had to clear out all the ghosts, the unholy, the monsters of the spirit world who would hang around and screw up the resale value of otherwise great estates for the righteous and rich people without a shred of regret or apology. Frankie was also a good friend and a hell of a poker player. We will miss you, Father Frankie. As you walk into the light, remember that God loves you. Amen. Amen. Lord, I am ready to hit the whiskey bottle and get shit-faced. Who's with me? This really isn't the end. It's actually just the beginning. I think it was the Mad Hatter who once said, dreams are not reality. But who's to say which is which? I remember the day I died just like it was yesterday. As a matter of fact, it actually was just yesterday. One minute I'm crossing the street, the next I'm catching a bus the hard way. It's an interesting experience to feel your soul leave your body right at the same time you're peeing your pants. Liberating, to say the least. The paramedics tried to start my heart, but they called it and I was a goner. Toast, kaput, gone with the wind. Felt ironic, here I was an ordained priest and I couldn't even give myself the last rites before I died. There was a man in the crowd, a rabbi, who offered to give me a last ritual circumcision, but fortunately needed my written consent. <sighs> uh, the fat lady sang, over and out. Felt ironic, here I was, an ordained priest, and I couldn't even give myself the last rites before I died. There was a man in the crowd, a rabbi, who offered to give me a last ritual circumcision, but fortunately needed my written consent. There I was, floating in space, motionless. No pain, no sense of time. Just a slight ringing in my ears as they loaded me up onto a gurney onto the waiting ambulance. 
I was dead on an autopsy slab when I woke up suddenly in a cold sweat and realized that I had wet the bed. If I had to offer anyone listening to this free advice, it'd be this. If you ever find yourself dreaming and wander into a restroom, don't use it.